In the news, terrorists revealed high-profile people in government as sponsors of terrorism in Nigeria. Child deaths from malaria in Africa could be cut by 70%, a study by London researchers suggests. Pentagon confirms explosion outside Afghanistan Kabul airport, casualties uncertain. Nigeria picks first medal as Latifa Tijani wins gold in women's 45 kg of powerlifting in Tokyo Paralympics. Details coming up shortly. <music> This is TOS Television, your digital first Pan African news network. You are watching TOS News 360. I am Merciful Ajinomo. We begin with matters of security. Boko Haram terrorists mentioned names of current governors, senators, and presidency officials as sponsors of terrorism in Nigeria during interrogation by the military authorities. A former naval officer, Commodore Kunle Olaumi, retired reveals. Olaomi states that President Mohamed Buhari's government demonstrated a political unwillingness to go after the high-profile politicians for reasons best known to him. He, however, expressed hope that the next Nigerian president in 2023 might have the willpower to bring the high-profile sponsors of Boko Haram to book. The Kaduna state government has announced the evacuation of students of University of Jos and other tertiary institutions in Plateau State who are its indigents following the escalation of killings in Jos, Plateau State and the re-imposition of curfew in some parts of the state. The Executive Secretary, Kaduna State Scholarship and Loans Board, Malam Hassan Rilwan, says the evacuation which was concluded last weekend followed the state government's directives that all students from Kaduna State should be evacuated in view of the security situation in Plateau State. There has been an explosion outside Kabul's airport where thousands of Afghans have been gathering at the gate trying to gain access to the airport in attempts to flee the Taliban takeover of Afghanistan. The Pentagon confirmed the blast with at least 13 deaths, including children as at the time of filing this report. Western nations had issued alerts on Wednesday evening of an imminent highly lethal terror attack by Islamic State militants, advising citizens to avoid traveling to the airport and asking those who already at the gate to leave immediately. Troops of the Multinational Joint Task Force on Wednesday killed a total of 43 Boko Haram and Islamic State West Africa province terrorists after an attack on a military base in Difa, Niger Republic. The Chief of Military Public Information of the task force says the troops tactically lured the criminals to their effective killing zone, brought heavy fire on them and neutralized scores while others escaped with various degrees of bullet wound injuries. One terrorist suspected to be their leader was caught alive. Away from security, Algeria and Morocco have been asked by the Organization of Islamic Cooperation, the Arab League and Saudi Arabia to resolve the diplomatic dispute between them through dialogue. Algeria on Tuesday announced the end of its diplomatic relations with Morocco. The Algerian government accuses the Moroccan kingdom of constantly carrying out hostile actions against Algeria, of waging war against the Algerian people and its leaders. This is your digital first Pan African News Network, TOS Television, and you are watching TOS News 360, Africa Business, Entertainment and Sports Tourism in return this day. Thank you for staying with us. Still across Africa, a study by London researchers suggests a new approach to protecting young African children from malaria could reduce deaths and illnesses from the disease by 70%. The researchers say giving them vaccines before the worst season, in addition to preventing preventative drugs, produced very striking results. Most of the 400,000 deaths from malaria each year are in the under fives, and the mosquito borne disease is still a major health issue in many parts of sub Saharan Africa. Morocco Foreign Minister Nasser Bourita says his country will stand by Libya unconditionally to help promote security and stability of the country. He made this known during a joint press briefing after meeting with member of the Libyan Presidential Council, Abdullah Al-Lafi in Rabat. According to the Moroccan minister, the issue of national reconciliation remains an essential factor to overcome the past and foster unity among all parties, especially as elections draw near in Libya. 
He stressed that Morocco, which has led an exemplary process in this field through the Equity and Reconciliation Commission, is willing to share its experience and guide Libya. Moving on to business, Nigeria's gross domestic product grew by 5.01% year-on-year in the second quarter, according to the National Bureau of Statistics in its GDP report released on Thursday. The report states that steady recovery observed since the end of 2020 with a gradual return of commercial activity as well as local and international travel accounted for the significant increase in growth performance relative to the second quarter of 2020 when nationwide restrictions took effect. And on entertainment, Hollywood actress Letitia Wright has treated in hospital, was treated in hospital rather, after an accident on the set of Black Panther 2. The star who plays Shuri, Princess of Wakanda, received minor injuries in what was described as a stunt rig accident. Although the nature of her injuries was not disclosed, the actress was released from hospital after several hours. The incident is not expected to have an impact on the shooting schedule for the superhero sequel. In sports, Latifa Tijani has won Nigeria's first gold medal in women's 45 kg powerlifting at the ongoing Tokyo Paralympic Games. Tijani defeated China's Zhuo Chi to lift 107 kilograms. And that is TOS News 360 on your digital first Pan African News Network. For more updates, visit www.tostvnetwork.com. Follow and like our social media handles on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. And remember to subscribe on YouTube. Stay with us and enjoy more programs on the network. I am Merciful Lajinamo. Many thanks for watching.